I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled 300. In the book of Judges, we read of mighty Gideon, whom God chose to reveal to the children of Israel his unconditional love for them all. Interestingly, the 300 men of Israel who were left after God had lessened the numbers of Israel's soldiers is within itself very significant, with the final reduction in their numbers being based upon a test, a test of who would bow down to drink from the stream like a dog and who would simply kneel and take the water from the stream within their hands in order to drink. This classic reduction in the final test of Israel's soldiers was based upon their seeing to believe what God could and would do to their approaching enemies, the Midianites and the Amalekites, who were of mixed heritage, a people whose vast numbers covered the land like grasshoppers. War was led by Gideon against a foe that an angel of God told Gideon he could defeat. By using only a very small number of Israel's soldiers, less than 1%, being 300 men. Gideon told the men what to do as he sent them to scare the enemy with the sound of each one's trumpet in one hand and a glass light in the other hand as they broke the glass pitchers and blew their trumpets about midnight as they were on both sides of the enemy camp with all 300 men shouting, The sword of the Lord! and of Gideon. This shocked and confused the enemies to such an extent that they fought each other, uh, killing many, and they fled their camp, leaving their accumulated wealth behind with many young women left in their deserted camp. Israel took the women as their concubines, along with much of the abandoned wealth that became a curse to Israel and to Gideon. Much can be learned from the 300. In this age we're living in, who will become educated in the realms of righteousness according to the ultimate will of God himself? Who will seek and find these great principles of truth in these earth classes? Who? Until next time.